Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So we've been out again for a while, but today I'm gonna do a review about the IKEA Kopang chest drawer. I've used it with my boys since they were born, and in the beginning I only have this chest of drawers, which I've also used as a changing table. I'm gonna post the link in here on how I did that. So if you guys wanna see, please feel free to check them out. So if you're new to my channel, my name is April. I have twin boys, identical twin boys, and I do a lot of product reviews. And most of the time, I do a lot of mommy videos. If you'd like to see more of these videos, please consider yourself subscribing and joining our little families. Let's get started. So this is the IKEA Kopang. IKEA Kopang. I have two chest of drawers one is I think mom chest of drawers so I'm just gonna do a review about this particular IKEA Kopang if you see there is a stand so I have a lot of things inside and you'll see it here these are my kids stuff if you can see I don't have a lot of things but there's one thing that I really really do hate about this product this knob in here always gets loose so i had this tightened a lot of times but still it didn't work so if you see this was with us since uh, my boys were born it's two years and if you can see here see this one it's damaged and i have another one in here this counter i don't like it doesn't get wet or anything but i don't know why it does this so this is one of the things I don't like about it aside from the knobs. So the knobs, I'm going to remove this. But if you can see in the second one, I have some tape on. I don't know if you can see that, but I put some tape. So I'm just going to remove all of this. Okay, so this is the second drawer. It's going to be heavy. If you see there are a lot of tapes in here because this one this cardboard in here tends to overflow or something so I put the tape so it doesn't get out from here if you see in this side it does get out this board gets out from its place a lot so the reason why I put a lot of tape in that second layer is that my kids clothes are not a lot I don't know if there is a maximum weight that it can take but I really really hate that the board itself goes out of its place so if I pull it out and I wanted to put it back it doesn't go back because of this part the board so I had to put tape on it I called IKEA about it and they told me that it's just like that. I think that's a big flaw in this product. Uh, as I've mentioned in my previous videos, I really like IKEA products and I really really like that their products are so versatile in that you can disassemble and assemble them and it's you know not expensive. But this is the only product I've had which I didn't really like so far because of this problem. So I think it's a very very poor quality one in the third row it's the same it's the same problem that I have maybe because of the clothes they are heavy or something but I don't think all my baby's clothes are gonna weigh that much because it's small clothes I mean you know the only thing actually that I didn't realize is that there is a waste of space so uh -huh. okay so if you can see from here there's also this part that just you know let's try if you can guys see that yeah so you can see this part has opened as well there is a gap under which you cannot use yeah so that's the other thing that i didn't realize is the you know the space the gap underneath i don't have any use for that <laughs> so i hope that i purchase something that has bigger capacity because when I purchased this, I just saw it, you know, like online and I was pregnant at the time and we really just need to purchase stuff for baby. So I, you know, just said I wanted it because it looks nice and then it can be as a changing table as well because of the height. In my next video, I'm going to do another review about the uh, mom IKEA chest drawers. <laughs> I think that is a mom 
I don't know how you pronounce it. Is it mom or mom or is it a silent L? Anyway, if you guys wanted to see that, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And I would love for you guys to stick around. I will do a lot more of IKEA product reviews in my next videos. Yeah, so I guess that's just about it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you have the same drawer, can you guys let me know how does that work for you? Do you have the same problem or it's just me? Or maybe there's something wrong with how, you know, my husband installed it. <laughs> but I don't know. So yeah, if you're planning to buy this product, consider checking everything. But as I've seen for the quality, I, I think there are better IKEA products that has better quality than this one. I know it's not very cheap and it's not very expensive. It's just okay. It's Yes, I hope that this video helped you out. And if you have any questions, please feel free to comment down below. And if you like my video, give me a big thumbs up. And if you don't, please let me know why. <laughs> I would really love to, you know, know how why you guys giving me a thumbs down or what are the other things I can improve on. I'm really open for that. So I hope you do have a happy day and a great day. And I hope to see you soon in my next videos. Bye.